Okay, today's going to be another bread day here in the old kitchen. Um, previously on this channel we've made rye bread and whole wheat bread and um, uh, jalapeno cheddar bread and even a French bread. So I thought it's time we just go ahead and uh, make a really simple white bread. And this turns out really good. It's really easy to make. All this bread takes is six ingredients, seven if you count water. So uh, I've got them laid out here. Let me show you what they are. So many white bread recipes all use oil and sugar in their recipes. And I just think the honey and butter makes it come out just so much more flavorful. So I always kind of like to substitute honey and butter for uh, oil and sugar whenever I can. So these are the six ingredients we're going to be using. Um, seven if you count water. But uh, we've got three and a half cups of bread flour and one and a half teaspoons of salt. We're going to use one package of instant yeast. And we've got two tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature. And we've got two tablespoons of honey and a half a cup of milk. This is just 2% milk. Okay, I've got uh, three quarters of a cup of water here and I'm gonna add another half a cup of milk. So I've got one and a quarter total liquid. There we go. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of honey. Let me spray it. The, let me spray the uh, measuring spoon here. Okay, there's two tablespoons. And let's give that a good stir. Okay, now we're going to put this in the microwave because I want it to be between 105 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit before I put the yeast in. So one minute in the microwave should do just that. Okay, our one minute in the microwave is over, so uh, let's give it a stir and take its temperature. Let's see where we're at here. 115 exactly. So I'm going to let this sit for just about uh, 30 seconds or so and kind of cool off. Maybe stir it around a little bit because I'd like to get it down just a, a degree or two. Okay, after stirring around, we're down to 111, so we're ready to add our yeast. This is just uh, instant yeast. And we'll stir that around. So no matter what kind of yeast I'm using, I like to just let it sit aside and uh, kind of foam up, make sure the yeast is good. With instant yeast, I don't think you really need to do that, but uh, I just like to do it just, just to feel good about the yeast. So uh, I'm going to let it sit here and uh, let it bloom up for a few minutes, and in the meantime, I'll go ahead and uh, get the dry ingredients together. Okay, our yeast has been foaming up here for about uh, five minutes or so, so uh, I don't think we have to worry about bad yeast for this time. So uh, let's go ahead and put it into the flour mixture. Okay, in this bowl I've got about three and a half cups of bread flour, or about uh, 19 ounces. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and add our yeast. And get that mixing up. Also going to add the two tablespoons of butter and a teaspoon and a half of salt. And we're just going to let that mix up on this mixing paddle just enough to get it mixed up and then I'm going to switch to the dough hook which uh, let's go ahead and do that now.
And we're gonna let this go for about five minutes or so. Okay, after we're done with the mixer, I kind of like to finish it up by hand by just uh, kneading it for just a little bit less than a minute just to get it into a nice ball shape. So we'll go ahead and dump it out here. And uh, just knead this a little bit here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's give it the old poke test and see if it bounces back. And sure enough it does, so uh, I'm just going to spray the bowl that we mixed this up in. And we're going to put it back in here and let it rise for about an hour. And once again I've got my really nice little lids. Uh, I really like these. You can uh, use these in place of plastic wrap and if you push down on them it'll create a suction on the bowl and, and stay there until you lift it up like this from the side. So um, I use these all the time. They come in different sizes. I've got uh, probably three or four different sizes. Anyway, um, let's let this rise for about an hour and uh, go from there. Okay, it's been about an hour. Let's take a look. And that looks pretty good. It looks like it's risen up there, so um, let's pour it out of here and we'll flatten it out. <clears throat> and uh, what we want to do here is just kind of form it into a log shape so it can fit in the loaf pan. So let's roll that up. Okay. And uh, let me spray the loaf pan here. And we'll just stick it in here. Okay, we'll just uh, cover this with a kitchen towel and let this rise for about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes or so. Let's take a look. And that looks pretty good. It's all uh, nicely risen up just above the uh, pan here. So now we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Okay, we are done. This is the finished product. Let's stick some butter on it. I like to get some butter on it as it comes out of the oven. It just kind of makes it a little bit better. Okay, I'll just let this uh, hang out in the pan here and cool down for about 20 minutes. And uh, then I'll pull it out and let it continue cooling on the wire rack for maybe another 30 or 40 minutes. And then we'll slice into it and see what we got. This has been cooling on this rack now for about, uh, oh, maybe not quite an hour, but uh, it's uh, much cooler now. It's, you can handle it. It's a little bit warm to the touch, but we're going to go ahead and slice into it. Move that out of the way. I've shown you guys my uh, nifty little uh, bread slicing guide in a couple of the other videos. Uh, we're going to use it again here. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a little... Uh, Thing you just fold out here, it's made out of bamboo, and this thing is so easy to use, I, I just love it. Um, it's got different size slicing guides for different size slices of bread. So um, for this kind of bread, I kind of like these ones down here on the end that are a little bit thinner than these other ones. So um, we're going to start just slicing away here. I've got my trusty electric knife. So uh, here we go. Okay, let me pull it out of here and show you what we have. Get that out of the way. Okay. Move 
this. Nice, fluffy, white bread. Smells good, looks good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.